Hey guys, Sam here. In this quick video, I'm going to go over cookies. So it's going to be a basic overview of how the cookie process works because some of you are posting inside of the Facebook group um, stating if your links expired and stuff like that. So I'm just creating a quick video to give you a, a, a scenario, you know, a hypothetical scenario. And I hope it um, will help you and give you a better understanding of how the process works. So don't worry you're gonna get paid you know with technology the way it is now it's uh, you know you're gonna get paid um, just keep sending creating those links and sending them um, and it's all gonna work out so uh, hang in there guys and so when I come back we'll get started you get to hear me now Alright guys, so I'm at my computer and I'm going to do a hypothetical situation explaining to you the cookie process and I hope it gives you a better understanding of how you're going to get paid. So let's open up this particular pen here. So we talked about the different affiliate marketing platforms that you can get signed up with, Amazon, eBay. Uh, Walmart and Target for this example we'll just use Walmart so we'll make this our Walmart and we filled out all the information including our payment stuff and all that and they provided us some tools and somewhere in that tool they'll, they'll give you a raw link so we'll take this link and you have the choice. I highly recommend that you use either your domain, you know, to create a subdomain. You use a URL uh, shortener. Um, you can use uh, you can use Bitly. There is uh, what is it? Pretty Link. There's just a bunch of them that you can use that are free to um, take that big link and make it into a smaller one. More, I guess. It would be, I don't know, it would be faster loading because <clears throat> it's going to another, to another server. But anyway, a lot of people do this. Um, if you do have a domain and you want to keep it niche specific, use a domain. I recommend. But anyway, so we got our link from Walmart. And it's say the product is a fishing pole, right? Fishing pole. And we go over here and we now are creating different marketing channels so inside of these marketing channels Facebook is one uh, let's see we got we can create a video and then upload it to YouTube so YouTube uh, we can create a blog post Oops. Uh, we can create an email and you know you can do a lot of other stuff you can do like SNM sending stuff straight to people's phone numbers but one of these channels here you know all our links inside of all this stuff that we've created you know we created all this content or we just created these simple little posts and our link is inside of each of these individual pages well, here comes Bob, right? Bob is surfing the web, or he may be friends with you on Facebook, or he may be subscribed to your channel, or he may be reading your blog posts, or he may have just got a hold of you off the search engines, right? Because you wrote a great, some good content about this fishing pole. Well, ever how Bob got to you, any one of these channels, no matter what, that's not the hard, that's not the important part. The important part is, <clears throat> excuse me, that he's clicked on your particular link, your shortener there. So once Bob has clicked on your link, Walmart is notified, right? It goes to Walmart servers. And inside of Walmart servers, they send back some other data that is now connected to Bob's browser. So whether he's using Chrome, or Firefox right either one whatever Firefox blocks third-party cookies by default Chrome does not but even if he's blocking third-party cookies he's still gonna get you know because he's requesting that information but if he wasn't blocking third-party cookies he would get that information and a whole lot more so um, just say for instance he's blocking third-party cookies 
Bob's now got this inside of his browser and this little code, this snippet that is tied back to you is stored on Bob's hard drive. So it's on Bob's local storage. So you don't have to worry about this no more. It's not out there on their servers or nothing. It's housed inside of Bob's cache inside of his web browser. There's allowed so many megabytes, kilobytes, whatever to house this little bit of script that is on Bob's server, I mean on Bob's PC. So now Bob has clicked and, it, and all that's done and Bob is presented with a page up here, right? Bob sees another oops, page and this page has his fishing stuff, right? Fishing pole. Um, he looks at it, you know, he takes the content in or whatever and he decides he doesn't want to buy. Say it's $900, right? Oh no, I don't want that, right? Bob says no, I'm good. So Bob goes about his day and, you know, shuts down his computer, comes back, but does not clear his cache or cookies, right? Does not clean his, use, using CCleaner or any of those things, you know, does not clean this out and goes back and does a Google search for, you know, walmart.com or fishing poles or whatever. The last cookie that that was set into Bob's local storage is now going to trigger to Walmart and say, hey, Bob's been here before. You know, Bob's looked at fishing poles. So, you know, their servers can do a bunch of other stuff depending on how they're, you know, they can show you more poles and fishing poles and all that stuff. So um, that's a whole nother complicated video but we're just trying to give you a better uh, basic understanding of how this works so now Bob doesn't you know Bob scrolls and he's not even looking at fishing poles but they may be sending him stuff but he scrolls and he sees something over here about a TV right he hits this page here and he sees a TV for $300 and his TV just went out and he buys it he knows he needs a TV now depending on the company and stuff that you're, you know, how you, you got to read the agreements, but most of the time you're going to get a commission. Even if Bob didn't buy your particular fishing pole, but Bob bought this TV, you were the last one that sent him the cookie inside of his web browser, which is stored on his local device. So that is how that works in a nutshell. So don't worry uh, for the guys that were posting in the Facebook group, you're going to get paid. I mean, just keep creating these channels, these little, you know, channels and sharing that links. You're going to eventually hit a winner and it's going to take off. So keep up, you know, keep, keep just hang in there. Let me show you a quick um, page real fast of some uh, cookies so you get a better understanding of, of how massive it can be of all this. So let's see. It was something like, yeah, so here's an email from Devon, and I clicked on that link, and I was brought to this page, so let me click it again, and so now I've already got my Facebook browser open, so Facebook has already known, um, this particular gen gentleman created this live or video using Facebook, right, or uploaded it to Facebook, um, so my information by me having my um, Facebook open and or cookie my you know my stuff's turned on in Facebook I don't have you know I've just maybe logged I mean I just visited Facebook maybe five minutes before I hit this email clicked on it my information is all in here so let me show you I'm gonna right click anywhere on the page particular on the bottom or side and you'll come to these this pop pop-up box that says view page source you can go to inspect but that's that doesn't show you all of it so go to page source and look at all this stuff that happened in, in nanoseconds from the time I just clicked that link and all this information that Facebook has you know talked to his Facebook servers talk to whatever um, email he's using client and all that so that is just what I, I wanted to show you that to, to let you know that you know all that stuff happens in the background and it's just amazing so look at here's I'm blocking third-party cookies 
on this particular web browser. So I just want to show you, even though I'm blocking third-party cookies, it's still going to show, it's still going to allow all these because these are direct. So AOL, AOL that's the email, cookies, local storage, all that. Let's see what it blocks. So it blocked all this advertising and all this stuff here. It's just stuff that can, you know, that's trying to read and, and get information about where I'm going and stuff. So don't worry. As long as you, you know, click on that link, you're gonna, you're gonna get paid. Same thing with Facebook. You know, all that code that I showed you just a second ago, inside of all that code there's that little bitty token that they create you know that's somewhere in here I'm not a coder I don't know you know how, how that end of it works but I do know that you will receive your compensation if you just keep sending these links you know somewhere in this is instructions telling what you know the affiliate program or whatever what to do and how and who gets credit for it so I hope you guys I hope that helped you, and um, if it did, please uh, hit the like button, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. You get to hear me now.